Our project's name is uh, the gate valve and uh, we're going to show you in this video uh, how we uh, made it in SOLIDWORKS. We choose the top plane and draw a circle and extrude it. Uh, and then uh, we draw another circle above it and cut extrude it and then another circle and also cut extrude it. I draw a rectangle and extrude it and then I draw another rectangle and cut extrude it and then I cut the additional parts. I make a rectangle, extrude it, and make the edges fill it. I extrude the shape and make four circles and cut extrude them. Now I cut extrude this shape and make the same at the back. Two circles on this base and cut extrude them. To make the edges better, I'll draw two circles and the line between them and complete them after that and then uh, extrude them and make the edges fill it. Uh, and then I'll complete the edge uh, under it and make it the same. This is the final shape after making all the edges fillet. Now we will draw the wheel of the gate bulb. We draw the circle and we extrude it. We will extrude the center of the circle, extrude cut. Then adding a skit to the bottom of the circle. We draw the center line and offset the center line to the right and to the left. Now we change uh, the sizes and trimming the extra part. We extrude box uh, the sketch so we got our wheel, adding uh, some uh, fillet for the wheel and drawing the sketch on the other side. We extrude box, extrude cut uh, the sketch and add some fillet. We will repeat this the previous step two times. Now we are writing on the wheel. Now we will draw the stem uh, of the gate valve. We draw a circle and extrude box the circle. We add a plane so we can uh, uh, extrude cut the cylinder from the two sides. We draw another circle and extrude box the circle. We add the uh, fillet and then we add a chamfer. Now we, uh, we are adding uh, the thread of the stem. Now we will draw the part that will hold the wheel. We draw two circles and extrude box the circles. After that we will cut, extrude cut uh, the cylinder. And adding another cylinder on the top, adding a chamfer, and uh, cutting the thread of the of the part. And we got our part. After that, we uh, we will add uh, the thread uh, inside the part by copying it from the stem. Now we will draw the small the screw by drawing two circles and extruding both the circles. 
After that, adding a fillet for the circles. We are adding a plane so we can uh, draw a circle and extrude both the circle. Adding a chamfer. And then we will draw the helix. So we can uh, cut the thread of the screw. And we now we are drawing another type of screw. We cut the thread. We are drawing a cylinder and extrude both the cylinder. Now we are drawing uh, the big knot by drawing the sketch and extrude both the sketch, adding some features. We will copy the thread from the previous part. Now we are drawing the medium size of the knot by repeating the previous steps. And copying the thread from the medium screw. Drawing the small size of the knot. And repeating the previous steps. And in chamfer. Copying the thread from the small screw. Now we will draw a small cylinder by drawing two circles and extrude both. Now we will draw the part that will pass through the small screw and uh, the stem. We insert the, our part so we can draw a sketch on it to get the right sizes. We offset the circles. And we trim the extra lines. We extrude box the sketch and extrude cut the part. First, we choose the top plane. Then we draw three main circles with four small circles and extrude it. Then we draw above it a circle and extrude it to be a cylinder. Then we repeat the same steps. We extrude the shape and we choose the plane and we draw two circles with a line between them and extrude the shape. And now we fill it the edges and we draw a circle and extrude cut it. That we draw a slot and extrude cut it. And we draw a bigger slot above it and extrude it. And now we fill it the edges. A 
above the big slot, we draw circles. And extrude, cut them. And now we fill it the edges. And that's the shape. This is the shape of the disc and I will extrude it. This is the shape of the disc. Now I will extrude it cut the shape. I will draw the circle in the middle and I will extrude it cut. Do the same thing in the other side. We fit the part that will hold the hand wheel. Then we use mate for the part faces and point to join the part together. <laughs> 